Ostrovsky is a Canadian-born case officer for the Mossad, Israel's intelligence service. He joins us from Scottsdale, Arizona. So can you tell us how surprised were you uh, with what seems to be a targeted assassination? Well, it, it looks like it. I mean, uh, this is not accidental that we're seeing um, more and more nuclear scientists fall by the wayside uh, over a short period of time. Uh, Israel, in a way, is justified in it, or justifying itself in, in the need to stop this program in any way possible. It's resembling very much what happened in the 50s uh, in Egypt, if you remember, when the German scientists were developing uh, the missile program for Jamal Abdel Nasser at the time, uh, they were also being targeted. But this way, if, whether the person who is being hit is a, is, a, is a main person in the system or not, it puts fear in everybody else who's doing the program, knowing that, you know, they could be next. Uh, now, the U.S. says that they didn't do it. Uh, who do you think is responsible then? Is it Israel? Is it possible? Well, it, it look, well, it could be that Israel, it, it's, it's very unlikely that an actual Israeli case officer would be involved deep inside an enemy country. Also, it did happen before when the assassination of Mishal or the attempted assassination of Mishal took place in Jordan. Uh, but really to send a, a combatant so deep into a country is not likely. It's more likely that it could be a proxy of the Israeli Mossad uh, being a Kurd trained in Kurdistan, which uh, the Mossad has good connections with and good ties to, and has had for many, many years, uh, and, and use them as somebody who would be trained to carry this out. Uh, but it, it, it would have a signature of the Mossad on it, uh, trying to take action, because Israel basically painted itself into a corner, saying if we reach a certain red line, if Iranians reach a certain red line uh, in developing their nuclear program, Israel will have to retaliate. Mm -hmm. Not retaliating would show a, a sign of weakness. I mean, they, they have that red line that they don't want to get to. Uh, and this is a way to stop or show that there's action being taken without actually having to go in with airplanes and, and bomb something. Uh, if Israel had wanted to, could Mossad just go in, or would they need you know, permission from other agencies to proceed? No, uh, this kind of an operation would not even be requesting. Uh, uh, you, you want the plausible deniability on the hands of the other uh, agencies. You wouldn't go and ask for this kind of a thing. This is not an open attack. This is something that Israel can say, uh, you know, we will not comment. Uh, well, the United States will deny. The Israel will say no comment. Mm -hmm. And it stays where it is. And everybody knows or everybody who should know knows. Uh, you know, what they have to know. But no, this is not something you have permission for. You do not send somebody in when some other agency even knows about something like this. All right. Former Mossad officer Victor Ostrovsky in Scottsdale, Arizona. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for having me.